hey guys what's up so this is continuations of hybrid framework and this is the 15th video which i'm making now right so uh, almost we are done with the framework part we need to start with the script design in the hybrid framework but small portion is remaining in our framework helper class the the small portion is nothing but uh, in the test base earlier we had only test base thought java which i have already explained now i have something called i have added config.java so basically this is the config reader so uh, if you try to recollect in the config file we have added this many properties now so username password browser website a uh, page load timeout implicit weight explicit weight and logger label why i have added all this here because tomorrow if there is any change we will come here and we will change it okay instead of changing everywhere in the script implicit weight or explicit weight we'll just come here and we'll change that so that it is very very easy to handle so when you say framework in the framework everything should happen from the one locations there should not be a scattered way okay so everything should happen is from the one locations so i have written here the corresponding every value i have created one method actually i have created one getter method so this guy this config file extending test base why it is extending test base because test base is the one we are uh, where we are loading all the properties file which i have shown earlier right we are loading all the properties file here that is the locations where we are loading properties file right even i am loading log4j also so i have shown two the two way of loading the log4j one through this one is through logger helper so here we are loading all the uh, properties file since we are loading or will be available so or dot get property username because here we have something called username password browser website for everything so i have made a getter class so it's very easy to call wherever you want to call that you can just make the object of config and you can call this okay you can call uh, config dot get username config dot get password config dot get website so in the script you don't need to write every time or dot get property double quote website you don't need to write uh, page load every time you don't need to write or dot get property page load and then you need to convert to the integer because why because when we read from the property file it will be the string but when you call implicit weight just now i have shown you there you need to supply the timeout into uh, into integer so if i'll go to the weight helper again if i'll go into the helper class here we have a weight helper the first method if you look at uh, this will uh, this requires time into long or in fact you can supply integer also long will accept integer okay so here it requires uh, in the long here it requires into the integer so you need to convert that is the reason i'm converting integer dot parse int o dot get property page load timeout so the page load timeout is nothing but the this guy the page load timeout selenium has page load timeout also so i'm calling this uh, similarly here i have implicit weight i'm converting to integer dot parse int so when i write integer dot parse int you can convert your string into the integer again the explicit weight i'm converting integer dot parse it and everywhere i'm returning guys very very careful everywhere are returning here return type is a string here return type is a string here return type a string here return type integer here also return type integer why integer because we are parsing into integer and then here also the return type integer because we are parsing into the integer now get db type so when you have related to db you can write there you can get the type get db connection url this both like i i, I just now have given those two method when you want to add in the future you can add it here like db url db type like which type of db sql oracle what is the db url so you can just add that like because it's a framework right everything should be there so in future uh, you can just add that so what i can do i can uh, as of now i can write there blank based on your uh, project requirement you guys can you guys can write here okay as of now i am not writing anything uh, similarly for connection string i can just write here uh, i'll keep blank so you guys can write based on your requirement so this is very very helpful now going forward uh, wherever you want to use that right you can just call that one thing is missing get browser right so one thing is missing is is get browser 
so if you look at in the test base we had the method called get browser so what i can do here is this browser right so we can make one method here of type string and we can just write get browser right and inside that what we can write this browser so whatever you will supply there we can read on the runtime and wherever you want to make the object of the browser we can call this method config.getbrowser and wherever we are calling the test base method this method right it will it will get supplied and this guy will create the object for the browser so with this we are done with all the helper class to the framework i think uh, if anything is pending going forward we will keep on adding and now we will start with the page object uh, object design we will design the page object and then we will start with the scripting so thank you guys thank you for watching this uh, this code uh, this code will be available to my git locations and even i will supply the link uh, below my video uh, if you like this video hit like button and subscribe me youtube channel thank you once again